Hey guys. <laughs>a
a written planner, something that you can hold and not just rely on your phone or rely on your iPad or a calendar or whatever, because the worst thing that can happen is if for some reason technology fails you and you had all of your assignments or test dates or whatever on there and then you can't find them anymore. So I really recommend getting a planner and if you want to write you know, all of your information on here and put it in your phone, that's completely fine. But please get one of these because it's this is gonna be very reliable for you to have in case for some reason technology fails. Because let me tell you, the information is really it's very good to learn like you'll be able to learn it it's going to take some time but you're going to learn it but the worst thing is when i think people fail or don't do as well as they could have is because they didn't plan properly you have test quizzes projects clinical and sometimes you have to coordinate you know your preceptor with your schedule with your school schedule and everything if you don't have one of these things it's going to be so difficult to know when things are due, how much time you have to do it, how much time you should give yourself to study for a test. So please utilize this. If you've never used one before or you're like, eh, I'm good, I'll remember it. Please get one because it's it could really save your butt. Um, maybe you thought you had a really smooth week and you forgot that you were written something down that was due and then it screws your whole thing up. So get one. If you wanna write on your phone too, do it, but have a reliable source. So along with the planner, what I like to do at the beginning of each and every semester is gather all of my syllabi from all of my classes. And what I first do is I read all, every read everything. And I know like when I had my bio major, to be honest, I really didn't read much of the, um, the different syllabi that I got. Um, but for nursing, I did because I knew that there were so many assignments and quizzes and tests and whatnot that I need to make sure that I understood everything and I understood the point system because the point system is different also. So I just, I needed to make sure I understood everything. So what I did is I took all of the different, all of my different classes, I read everything and I highlighted my tests, my quizzes, my projects, anything that was due that I needed to get done in a timely manner. Then I would take my binder and I would write everything out. So one class was one color, another class was another color, and then I would highlight um, what was more important. So I really mostly highlighted tests and quizzes or maybe projects. The weekly homework that we had that was more consistent, you kind of pick up when it's due. So I don't really put too much priority on, you know, highlighting it in my planner, but it's very important to make sure that you have everything written out ahead of time so that if for some reason the professor doesn't tell you that week um, that the assignment was due in my program they were pretty good about you know reminding you hey this is coming up this is coming up or whatever but if they don't and you don't do it then they're going to say well it was in your syllabus you know and they're kind of right because it was and it's your job to look at it so don't let that screw you up Make sure that you look at everything ahead of time. If you don't understand, ask your professor, ask a student, whatever. But you have to make sure that you save your butt and that it's going to come back down on you if you didn't read something. So just be completely organized and that really will help you be successful. Another thing that's extremely successful to do if you have access is to talk to students, um, like previous students, for all your different classes because for each professor, someone has an opinion on them or how they work or how they test or where they get their questions from or whatever. It's really great to talk to students that previously took a class because they can kind of prepare you for what's going to happen. Um, and I thought that was very helpful because that really helped me determine how I was going to study. Like for some courses, I focused more on maybe book content, other classes more on the PowerPoint, others more on a PDF document that they gave us because I was understanding how people were studying before and I kind of adapted that way so that I was as successful as I could be in that particular class. And I think sometimes it's hard because you always want to study a certain way, but you have to be, um, you know, you have to adapt to different classes and maybe one class you study one way using one tool and another class another tool. So just be open to that. Talk to people that have taken it before because that can really help you. And that's really helped me do well because I thought, oh, there was one class I took, I think it was public health. I don't remember. And I was going to look more at the PowerPoints and they said, no, 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 look at the PDF document she did. And I'm so glad I did because there's way more information on there and I did extremely well. So just take that into consideration and try to talk to previous people. 
Another thing that you can do to be extremely successful is I'm not really sure if every single um, program does this, but we had labs that we had to do and we had simulations that we had to practice doing skills. And with that, you needed to bring your own um, equipment or resources, or if you had to wear a gown or a tag or whatever, please make sure that you know what you need to bring and don't just assume that you can just go in there and then they're going to have all the supplies for you. Bring your own stuff. It looks better. Um, it's just easier for, I just prefer to use my own stuff if I can. And it looks better for the professor saying they're on time, they're prepared, they have their resources needed, I don't need to provide them anything. And it just looks better and it's a better relationship that you'll have with your professor or a clinical instructor or whatever it is and that translates into getting a possible recommendation when you apply for jobs or for schools or whatever it is so you want to have a good relationship with the instructor and vice versa but you need to do your part just as much as they need to do their part so another thing that's really helpful it kind of goes along with the planning again but if you have everything written down you can look um, through your planner through weeks ahead and see what you have coming up. So if you know you have a test coming up or if you have a project coming up, you can know when you should start studying, when you should start working on the project, and that'll go so much more smooth. For me, I like it's kind of weird, but I would rather get my points first and then worry about learning it afterwards. So if there was any like, you know, quiz or any project or anything that was under my control, I wanted to get rid of and do it fast not do it fast, but do it well, but get that out of the way first and then take my time to study. I never wanted to study for an exam and have something pending. And I know that that's just the way I work because I would have, I want solid days of studying before an exam and not have to worry, oh gosh, I have to write a paper, I have to, you know, do whatever it is, do a simulation or, you know, anything like that. So anything that was point, uh, point, related that I had to turn in, I would rather have gotten that done earlier and then take the time that I need to really understand the information and get um, get everything that I need so I can do well on the test and know the information for practice. So if that helps you, instead of waiting for the last minute to do something that requires you getting points, get that done out of the way. Any extra credit you want to do, get that out of the way. When you have time for a test or when you need to write a paper, give yourself that full time and not worry about anything else. The last thing that I just want to say is that believe in yourself. And I know that so many people say that and it's just kind of cheesy at this point, but it's really true. Um, you know, you can do all the work and put in and go through the motions, but if you really don't believe in what you're doing and believe in yourself, then it's only going to go so far. And you want to be as successful as you can in school. And so that'll translate to you being an amazing nurse and now I'm not saying that grades define the type of nurse you're going to be, but the amount of effort, the amount of determination, the amount of knowledge you gain and the amount, whatever you put in, it's going to come out and it's going to show. And you want to gain and learn everything that you can so that you can be the best nurse possible. So just try to get all these tips under your way. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. It's going to be a challenge, but you can do it. You've always, you already had your mindset to be a nurse. You just got to get through nursing school, got to get through the NCLEX, and then you will be working as a nurse in whatever job you want to do. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe. I am here for you guys. If you have any questions or if you need anything or just support or whatever it is, um, we're going to get through this pandemic together. It's going to be okay. Um, remember that you can take this time to maybe get healthier, gain some more knowledge, take some classes, you know, whatever it is, gain a new hobby, anything like that. So and also continuing your education because that'll never stop and no one could ever take that away from you. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.